Hello everybody, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Last time we finally sealed off the keyhole to Traverse Town and struggled a bit against the boss, like I do against everything. But I also made some changes to the gummy ship as we are about to go onto some further routes and some more difficult ones. And gummy ship can be quite hard if you don't touch it, which I've never touched it, but there's a tournament being held at the Colosseum. And my TV's about to turn off if I don't do anything, because TV automatic settings for some reason. You won't see that, though. I hear there's a great reward for the winner. So, occasionally throughout your journey, you will have new, new tournaments open up at the Colosseum. Now, they're usually just 10 fights, and then you get a reward at the end of it. I won't be doing the one that just appeared this time, because we only just did Colosseum last time. So... The other feature we got for our gummy ship is warp drive. Now you'll notice for places that are nearby I can select between normal or warp. Normal if I just want to go there, which you'd want to do if you're doing the gummy missions. Or which I believe I did for the first one here. Yes. But then some places like deep jungle instead of going here and then here I can just go straight there. But we have two new war poles, which both lead to the same place, but let's take one of them. We'll take this one that's right here, saves us warping to a place and then going there, going from there. Equipped a speed gummy, it enables acceleration. So, I can still break. Oh, that's weird. Okay, so my cannons are looking out like that, but I also have lasers. Which destroy everything, wow. Okay, the gummy editing really is blind for me, but... Okay, my cannons are a lot stronger, which is interesting. I also have speed, so I can go much quicker for different sections. Maybe it wasn't better. My laser's great. I can just spam my laser. Of course, it does use up power, which I do run out of. My cannons firing in different directions are weird. That's a portal I want to go through though. Looks suspicious. Maybe it leads to another world. Left, left. You have to be on the half of the screen to go in the portal. I think if you're in the middle, you'll go through it as well. But, new territories here. And, I've a lot of tougher, heartless ships now. Oh, wow. And I'm moving much quicker, which means I'm running into them a lot. And with the way my cannons are actually set up, I didn't think they'd fire like this. Them not firing straight ahead is a bit of a row for me. Maybe it's how far out of the center you are. These gummy ships coming up here, though, these ones are tough. Blue uh, I didn't get a blueprint from them. Blueprints from those ones are quite nice, actually. Music change. Do do do. And I'm just going to speed through some of this, because I can do that eventually, and hopefully not die. I also have a lot more armor. I say a lot more. It's not really too much more armor, however, like, think of a defense. My defense has gone up quite a bit. And look, we're already there. We're already at the next land. This is Agriba. So let's disembark right away. Welcome to Agrabah, the land based on Aladdin. And the keyhole? The Heartless are searching for it now. I'm certain we'll find it soon enough. So that just leaves... <coughs> Jafar, I've looked everywhere for Jasmine. She disappeared like magic. The girl is more trouble than she's worth. You said you had things under control. Agrabah is full of holes for rats to hide in. But why worry about Princess Jasmine? With her or without her, surely this world will be ours when we find the keyhole. We need all seven princesses of heart to open the final door. 
Any fewer is useless. Well, if the princess is that important, we'll find her. Find Jasmine and bring her to me at once. Don't steep yourself in darkness too long. The heartless consume the careless. <laughs> Your concern is touching, but hardly necessary. Well, apparently those two suck at finding her. And we have a new Heartless right away! Can't even see what room I'm in barely because of the camera turned to chase that Heartless. But, new Heartless, we have the Bandits! These Heartless run around really quickly and they can actually... That's not a Bandit. They can actually dive at you from quite a distance. They can be quite dangerous and they are very tough in terms of attack power. Can I just attack the Bandit please? Stop. Ugh. Oh well. Got a lucid shard, and that's it for enemies. We also have these pots we can destroy for a few orbs, not that great. And die heartless shadows. Come on. There we go. Give me that chest. Give me that chest. I get a mega potion! And if we head in here for the storage, this... Green friendly mark, huh? This is the place that we usually use to get in and out of this world, I guess. This is like the entrance of the world, sort of. With a save point. When it saves. This always takes so long. Anyway. Also got pots in here. I can only destroy a few of them. So let's head back to the plaza. We don't really have a goal here, I guess let's just explore the world. We can go this way into the desert. I mean, it, this is not where you're meant to go, by any means. But if you go off into the desert, well, you just end up back here. So I assume you get lost, turn around, and end up back here. Treasure chest! I get a Mega Reefer! That's actually pretty nice. And that's blocking the doorway, so let's head through here to the main street. And more bandits! So that was the attack I was talking about where they can, like, come flying from you. And they can throw your swords at you too. If you deflect them, the swords will break. And they can just conjure up a new one. But another new Heartless just appeared there if you saw it. Here it is, the Pot Spider. Now the Pot Spiders disguise themselves as Pot. So if I walk up to this one... So that one, as you can see, is not a Pot Spider. But if I walk up to a few of them, it will transform to a pot spider. Now they're very weak, go down in a few hits. They're even weaker than the shadows in my opinion. When did Donald learn arrow? Arrow, that spell though. I just, you don't get to see it really. Do I have anything new here? Inferno band from, oh that was from the uh, Cerberus, wow. I need to really look at my stuff here. Oh, I can put Berserk back on because it got AP last time. Anyway, done looking at my stuff. Let's destroy these bandits. Come on. Stun them in the corner. That's good. Oh, and Goofy. Can't. Whoa, whoa. Goofy got. Whoa, crap. Goofy got level up more health. That's always great. You'll see Goofy with a lot of health towards the end of this adventure. But I think. We can't go that way, so let's go this way. Don't worry, Agrabah is not like a maze. It's actually pretty easy to find your way. Huh? Who's there? Hello? I'm Jasmine. My father is the Sultan of Agrabah. Uh, so that makes you a princess. But he has been deposed by Jafar, who now controls the city. Jafar? You haven't heard of him? He's the royal vizier. I have no idea what that means. He's gained evil powers and seized Agrabah. He's desperately looking for something. Something he calls the Keyhole. Jafar kept caught me trying to escape. But he helped me. Who helped you? We were hiding nearby. 
but he left a while ago to take care of something. Oh, I hope Aladdin's all right. Aladdin. Where might I find this street rat? Jasmine, allow me to find you more suitable company, my dear princess. These little rats won't do you see. Jasmine, run! Ah, the boy who holds the key. Got to deal with these bandits. Stop them from chasing Jasmine. And that sucks. Oh no, never mind. I'm all good. Is it just me or is the camera lopsided here? That is so weird. Up here though. I couldn't open the chest because of these heartless. Go away. They're taking a lot more hits than usual. I guess I haven't really fought the shadows for a while. We get a mega potion, yay. But if I release this, that opens a doorway somewhere. I believe that doorway is actually just up there. I want to be careful jumping over them though because if... Oh, let me deal with these two first. Even that attack doesn't kill him. Thunder? Blizzard? No. Fire. Oh! I have arrow! When did I get arrow? I actually did not see when I got this spell. I'm gonna guess I got it from defeating opposite armor? That's weird. Anyway, heading off through here. Arrow is actually... Oh, pot spiders. Arrow is actually a great defensive spell. Basically, it reduces damage taken by enemies, and it also, it also, it can hurt enemies if you run into them. If I jump down here, get this chest. Mega Ether, yay. Enemies, oh, thank goodness. Now, I want to jump up here. Back, like, you would have, I can't, oh, I can't jump up here. I want to climb these posts into Aladdin's house. I don't know where Jasmine's gone though. Got a chest here, nice. Scissors key. We can go out there to the main street. We can go out there to the plaza where we first came in. And I can get the mega elixir there. But let's help this carpet out. The carpet flew off toward the desert. Let's follow it, Sora. So, Plaza is the quickest way there. And can I can totally get over there. Please, don't mess up. Don't mess up. Don't mess up. I didn't mess up. Now, here's the problem. I need to... Oh, don't fall. Don't fall. I don't know if it was overly apparent, but those, after I jump on those, those windows close. They do open up again, apparently, though. Over here... I wanted to... Okay, cool. I wanted to be sure that I killed the Heartless without knocking them down, because then I'd be in battle mode constantly, and then I wouldn't be able to open the chest. But with that, I'm gonna head off to the desert. And we have a save point here that I somehow missed earlier. Talk to the carpet. It wants us to come along. All aboard! <laughs> Quick, we have to help Aladdin. Oh, I guess we have to kill some Heartless to do that. So I've just got to t take care of these bandits to help Aladdin out, who's buried in that sand. Pretty easy fight, actually. Bandits aren't actually that tough, I guess. Here we go, just keep working. That does so much damage though. Okay, 
seeing as you've seen how much damage that does, if I cast Arrow and something does damage to me now, something do damage to me now, come on. See, you can see that did nowhere near as much damage, and you could actually hear a little sound as it hit me. But it also, like, if I'm just running into enemies, not attacking them, it will cause a small bit of damage. See. <laughs> Thanks, Sora. Aladdin, what are you doing out here? Same old stuff, hunting legendary treasure. Just paid a visit to the Cave of Wonders. I found that magic carpet. And this lamp. Legend has it that whoever holds the lamp can summon Please, the kid, leave the intros to a professional. The one and only genie of the lamp. Rub it up, dub the lamp, and have your dearest wishes granted. Today's winner is Aladdin. Congratulations. I'm a rush. Patience, my fine feathered friend. Any three wishes. Oh, one wish, a two wish, a three wish. Then I make like a banana and see it. Our lucky winner made his first wish. And let me tell you what a doozy that wish was. So he has two left! So, Master, what do you have for wish number th two? <laughs> How about making me a fabulously wealthy prince? Whoa! Money, royalty, fame! Why didn't I hear that? Okay, you asked for it. A hundred servants and a hundred camels loaded with gold. Just say the word and I'll deliver it in 30 minutes or less or your meal's free. Hey, I'll even throw in a cappuccino. <laughs> no thanks. Okay. I think I'll put that on hold until we reach Agrabah. Oh, why a prince? You see, there's this girl in Agrabah named Jasmine. But she's a princess. And I'm... Ah, oh, she could never fall for a guy like me. Oh, uh, Jasmine? Oh, that's right. She's in trouble, Aladdin. What? Well, come on, let's get going. And we have a new member of our party. Although I'm not going to put him in our party because I hate doing that. I mean, I guess I should. He attacks just like the bandits, really. Outdoors. I guess you don't get out much, huh? Comes with a job. Phenomenal cosmic powers, itty bitty living space. It's always three wishes, then back to my portable prison. I'm lucky to see the light of day every century or two. Say, Genie, what if I use my last wish to free you from the lamp? What do you think? You do that? Genie? It's a promise. After we help Jasmine. And Heartless immediately, as always. Can I just say one thing about this game, though? The voice acting is amazing. Oh, and there's actually different Heartless. Oh, and I, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a new Heartless. This is the Fat Bandit. Fat Bandit. I hope I said that right. Anyway, it's pretty much a large body, except stronger. Except it does have new, brand new attacks. It moves a lot quicker, even though the, the, the journal description might say otherwise. It can swing around instantly. And instead of getting stronger when it's weaker, it just straight off the bat has stronger attacks. And it was that's locked off, so I guess we have to go up here? Although maybe I did that last time anyway. No, I don't think I did. Yeah, now that place is blocked off and I have to go through here. 
it's always it's always nice having Donald cast Aroga. It's worth noting, just as you saw there, when moving rooms and there are heartless nearby, you, when attacking you or locked on, you won't actually be able to move between rooms. It will only happen when you are actually not locked onto anything and just running around. So you won't have to worry about accidentally moving into a different room. Uh, come on, just die. I believe in the original Kingdom Hearts 2 on like PS2, these two boxes weren't here. So like if you destroy those ones in the corner, then like things aren't easy for you. You're a pot spider, aren't you? Yes you are. Pot spiders are so easy to take care of. These guys aren't. Spawn again. Perfect. Let's move on to the main street. Gotta save Jasmine, wherever she may be. And that doorway there is now unblocked, but I don't want to go through there. And there's a reason for that, I think. Depends if I can actually do it. Oh no, I fell. Oh well, guess I'm killing all the enemies down here anyway. But yeah, see, like, he can turn instantly after starting attack. And he can breathe fu- oh crap, I don't want to go through the, to the palace gates from here. But, oh, that attack he's doing now, you can block each fireball for good tech points. It's actually really helpful. 20 points of experience though from him, not bad. Oh come on, let me just move through here. Agrabah tends to be swarming with enemies like this. And now these green requiems come in. One thing I forgot to mention about green requiems, green wreck. I can't even say the name properly. Anyway, the one thing I forgot to mention, although I did put it in the description for the in the bio, they are pretty much immune to all types of magic, not just cure. I guess I don't know. They're, because they don't have a specific attacking spell assigned to them, they are basically immune to all types of magic. Anyway, I want to jump down here, head to the bazaar, and in here, there's a few things I want to take care of before heading to the palace gates. Oh, I destroyed that guy. Actually, I'll just go down here. I need to take care of things down here anyway. Oh, Trinity Mark. Glad I came in here. Oh, pot spiders are here too as well. It's worth noting, it's pot spiders, because you can, you can see the- oh crap. Oh, thank you, Donald. I did not- two level ups, great. I got scared, I got scared. It took this long, but finally I've done it. Let me show you the one of the best abilities in the game for one reason and one reason alone. Oop, that's equipment. Scan. Only one AP. I can view the enemy's HP now. I can view how much health they have, which is great. Donald got MP Rage, which is recover more when you're hit in battle, which is actually better than MP Haste in my opinion. Goofy, nothing new for him. Aladdin, no, I never went over. Got these attacks. Cheer increases the summon's MP gauge. Um, treasure Magnet, you know that. Lucky Strike. Oh, that's almost a reason enough to have Aladdin in my party. Basically, items drop more often. Jackpot, orbs drop more often. And critical plus, I bet you can tell what that does. Um, equipment. I don't think I have any new equipment. Nope. Aladdin? Oh, wow. Aladdin actually has equipment on him. I'll just take that off him. He doesn't need that. Or pop the firing on instead of a protect chain just because it gives fire resistance as opposed to not fire resistance he can have protect chain so I don't need him um but yeah I can scan things now not inanimate things like pots but also in terms of pot spiders now that we have scanned it's worth noting I I think they you won't see a health bar until they actually 
reveal themselves as being a pot spider or you hit them. But got a fair bit of money there, wow. Up here, normal heartless, cool, which means I can jump over here. Oh, it didn't drop down, that's weird. The first one does, but the second one never seems to. They come back instantly. Interesting. Jump over here, get this. And I get a firing! I mean, I just went over that actually. So I'll do the same there. And we have a gate we can open up. And th I knew there was a reason to coming in here. Because that gate, you want to go through that gate, I believe. Please don't spawn. Okay, good. Jump up here. You'll, you'll be jumping up that bit, a fair bit. But in here, to the palace gates. And you'll notice there's not much we can do, actually. I just wanted to make sure we open that, because the moment I go down, even a slight amount from here, if I, like, jump over here... Oh, oh, this is... Maybe I have to go back to Aladdin's house? I have to go back to Aladdin's house. Oh, I thought I was going straight here. Wow, you get a lot of tech points for on a from a pot spider. Okay, my mistake. I guess you have to go back to Aladdin's house then to actually do stuff. Okay, I'm just come back here so I can get this chest again, which I failed to do last time. Pro Terra chain. That's better than a firing, in my opinion. Plus one defense. Nice. And that glorious health bar in the top corner. It's amazing. I don't think you can get anything else in that room. Not yet, anyway. So let's head up to Aladdin's house. So Jafar is after Jasmine and this keyhole. Keyhole? I... Keyhole, hey? I could swear I've heard about that somewhere before. Really? Where? Now where was it? It's only been 300 years. Well anyway, we've got to stop Jafar before it's too late. So we have a mission and now we have to go to the palace gates. What does going out here drop me off? Where does... I mean, what does it drop me off? Uh, just here. And now you can see the palace gate is actually boarded up. Why? Because, well, that way from the bazaar, you actually have to go in there to unlock this gate up here so you can head there. But I actually want to drop by the bazaar one more time. Because, maybe... Oh, never mind. Okay, I was hopeful of something to happen, but never mind. We'll find out about that later. And before you're questioning what it is, no, it's not the white mushroom. I don't need to see white mushrooms here, I don't think. Although I do need to use arrow on them now that I have that. And cure on the ones in deep jungle. But once we head in here, if you go down even the slightest bit, it automatically begins. Weird trigger. Back to your hole, street rat. I will not allow you to trouble the princess anymore. Jasmine! I'm so sorry, Aladdin. Genie! Jasmine, please! One wish left. You're making this really easy, you know? <laughs> so sorry, boy. I'm afraid your second wish has been denied. Paul? I'm sorry, Al. And now, I bid you all farewell. Attack! Pot spiders, let's do it. Oh, that's different. Welcome to a new boss encounter. This is the pot centipede, and it can hurt. And it's basically just pot spiders all together. And you can see how the health bar works now that we have that. And I actually... Oh, Donald used it on me instead. I was gonna do that spell anyway. 
The antennas and the bit on the end hurt. But only the attacking the head and... Whoa, no, 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 seriously. Attacking the head and tail are the only ones that actually deal damage. Or you heal again. And it's mo it's running away! And they hurt. Oh, Jasmine's actually in one of them. But yeah, attacking it will separate the pot spiders, I guess. From oh, come on. Another cure, I'm running low on magic. So just, you just keep attacking it, it'll move about every now and then. It really hurts though. I can't remember like the good strategy I've had against this. Did my heal just kill that pot spider? What? There we go. Actually do some proper damage this time. Damn pot spider. That's weird, I'm, uh, that could have been goofing, actually, that time. It's on its last bar of HP, but you can see the more health a boss uh, enemy has, the more bars it has, and it goes from more, like, reddish colours to more um, green. Well, just green, I guess. And then black, because that signifies it's dead. I think I want to just stay clear when it brings those out. Whoa! We kept going. Wow, it's really falling- it falls apart so easily. But it's taking such a beating. What?! I call- I cast heal! Come on! Okay, so back to this fight now. Just gonna end the cut here. Um, Taking care of most of the pot spiders around the place. So it should just be this guy and like the one, two spot pot spiders connecting him. Try to take care of those. There shouldn't be any other pot spiders that can join him up now. He can still join with himself, I think. He had so much though. He's almost down though. Oh, no, 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 no. Cure, cure. Come on. Dead. There we go. And, oh, Goofy got Lucky Strike. Equipping that straight away after this. Jasmine! <laughs> to the desert. Come on, let's move. So, we have a new goal, to head off to the... Thanks for interrupting my outro. We have a new goal, to head off to the desert. I think I'm just gonna go to Aladdin's house for this. Nothing can stop me here. So, like I was trying to say, we have a new goal, to head off to the desert. And what do you have to say? Now I'm interrupting myself. Oh, he's a shop. You're a useless shop though. Anyway. We have to head off to the desert to save Jasmine from Jafar. I don't know where Jafar is though. Just in the desert, I guess. Next time we will do what Aladdin says. Try and save Jafar. Try and save Jafar. Who would know? Try and defeat Jafar. Save Jasmine and Genie as well. Cannot forget Genie because he is awesome. But see you guys next time. This is Spiraling Helix signing out. Bye bye. <laughs>